What's up, Rage Nation? How y'all doing? This is Alex Yu, and it is time for a unboxing review video. I got this sci-fi Rebel Tech Predator figure from Rage Nation member John Smith, and he gave it to me at a very reasonable and fair price, so I'm pretty happy about that. So thank you, John Smith. There's your shout out. And let's unbox this figure. Let's unbox it. And what I'm gonna do is I got my other camera set up right here so that you can watch me do this on a clay <laughs> making a mess here. Anyways, I'm not quite used to doing this style of, uh, of, of, of unboxing videos, but uh, we're going to do this anyways just because I want to give you multi-angle sequence. I want to talk to you on this camera, that way I can connect with my audience, and I also want to show you what I see with this other camera, that way you can get uh, a perspective from my point of view. Alright, so here we go. Oh, fuck, oh, Jesus God. <laughs> See what happens? See, I'm not a professional reviewer. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just not. There are a lot of people who do it better than me, and that's why we have videos like the one you just saw. So, um, <laughs> let me just pick up the, uh, the, the pieces. Holy crap. You know, I'm not here to, uh, I'm not here to, to, to break things. I'm here to just uh, give you a little first-hand look at, you know, <laughs> this. So, anyways, here we go. Let, let's position this camera so you can see everything better. You know, I don't have a, a professional setup. This is just my desk. I just moved the keyboard out of the way and then we're doing this. Okay, so here we go. Now, what do we get? We get this, um, what does this even say? 10 year Revel Tech, 10 Revel Tech point? What does that even mean? I don't even know. <laughs> We got the stand and we got this box. This box is used for putting all your Rebel Tech pieces in there, like extra ball joints and things like that. We also got this Predator label stand and four separate hands, two fists here, um, two open grips, and he's already got the two two um, 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 other hands. So three pairs in total. And of course the Predator mask, the iconic mask. Now this is from Predator 1. So he doesn't come with a whole lot of accessories. Had they made a Revel Tech on Predator 2, then you'd come with a whole arsenal. Like from the, the spear to the, the, the throwing disc and the medical kit. So there's a lot of stuff that they could put there. A lot of options are available. But anyways, this is number one. This is the first one. So here we go. So uh, what are we going to do and talk about this figure? <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Well, let's talk about the articulation. We got articulation on the, um, you know, the, these elbows, uh, on the um, uh, uh, shoulders. Very evident because of the ball joints. That's what these uh, Rebel Tech figures are known for, the, known for the ball joints. Now, one thing that I was hoping for was that they could have hidden this a lot better. Or maybe not hide it, but making them black makes them stand out like this. Okay, so maybe they could have painted it brown or beige or something like that or you know paint the ball joint like a like a beige with the netting you know that way it's a better camouflage so that is something that could they could have improved now the other thing that I thought that they could have improved is uh, they could have done like put a piece of articulation here they could have uh, put some articulation on the the toes I'm not saying individual toes but just a joint which allows it to to do like this you know what I'm saying so because if it could do that, then I could have it in um, this pose, you know? See how it's not bending there? If it doesn't bend, that means it's not going to be sturdy. So he can't really do the pose that I'm looking for. So unlike the Iron Man Rebel Tech figures, um, he can't, um, he doesn't articulate as much um, compared to Iron Man, which I have a lot of, and I'm comparing with Iron Man because, well, they can do a lot of stuff because of the, 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 the way he, he's set up. But with all these stuff here, you know, like the, this hip thing, uh, the, like the skirt, and also the shoulder cannon and all his dreadlocks, it kind of prevents him from, from um, you know, moving around too much. I was actually hoping for uh, uh, hip uh, movement from left to right, but instead, that's compensated with the upper body, uh, upper body articulation, which goes from left to right. But still not, um, not a whole lot of articulation on that. So you're given a kind of limited mobility with that. So let's try to put him in one of the iconic poses, okay? Uh, when right before he fights Arnold Schwarzenegger. So that pose would be the, um, you know, he has his arms spread out like this and his mandibles should be wide open, but they didn't include that accessory. So um, let's try to pose this guy. <laughs> He's going to be like, raw. <laughs> Um, that's not looking quite good. You really have to take time to pose these guys and don't be afraid to pose these guys because that's what Revel Tech is all about. Okay, now, um, I think that his 
forearm should be like that and his hands should be like out like that. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do that pose. In instead, I'm going to have him crouched over. I want I want him to get I want to get him in that 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 uh, looking over uh, uh, um, looking over a jungle or a, a tree, you know, looking over a jungle from a tree pose. Uh, the uh, the predator two predator the, the the city hunter he did that pose over the the the, the edge of a, a, a rooftop uh, because he's looking over the city looking for when is the best time to strike at humans. But anyways, um, he's got a bit of limited articulation even though he is a revel tick figure and it's all because of the gear that's all around him and that's a little bit unfortunate uh but what can you do because you know you still want to have a a predator looking predator figure without compromising uh too much of you know the essence of what makes a predator but you know when you want to uh when you have when you're uh, playing with a revel tech figure you have a, a bit of expectations right so there you have it well um i think this is a decent figure but you still can't articulate him that much. So you can only do so much with him. I think he would look cool if he had more accessories. But at the same time, this is the original Predator. So he didn't come with a whole lot. I think that if they made a Predator 2 City Hunter Predator, then he would have, uh, you know, all these other things. Uh, like, you know, the weapons and the arsenal. And then you could put him in uh, more dynamic poses. But for the time being, I'm going to put him in this, like, taking a dump pose. Just because... You know, um, it might look like he's taking a dump, but actually he's ready to strike. This is this is what the, the like um, um, uh, uh, personal trainers at the gym, they like to call it athletic pose. Because nobody stands up straight, you know, like this, if you're going to get into a fight. Nobody does that. Or nobody, like, his arm pops off either. <laughs> so there you have it. I just want to play with this in front of the camera and give you my first impressions of it. I'm, I'm liking this figure in terms of, you know, the overall look of it. But, you know, in terms of uh, playability and articulation, not quite there yet. I could really use a, a hip joint that makes them turn left to right. And one thing about posing figures, since we're on the topic of Revel Techs, is that here's a trick. If you want to make your Revel Techs look cool, turn, him, turn his body like to the right and make his head look to the left. Okay, now you can't really do that because of the, the lack of the hip joint. But if you can... I'm going to use the, 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 the upper, upper torso and just, okay, let's try to pose him. Okay, let me try to pose him. It's like Michael Jackson now. He's got like a dance move. It just makes him look like, like you know, there, there's some kind of a dynamic to him. But see, turn this and turn, his, turn your head like the opposite direction of the body. Okay, can't really do it, but look at that right now. See, that's not too bad. He's kind of in a... Uh, 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 like a oh Bruce Lee oh. <laughs> you know you better watch out before I Bruce Lee your ass anyways <laughs> Predator there you go I'm really happy about this figure so glad to have him in uh, my part of my collection my Revel Tech collection because I have a whole bunch of Iron Man so it's good to change things up with an alien a xenomorph no not really a xenomorph but a predator you know I'm really curious about their home planet when are we going to go to their home planet and visit them and bring marines there and just blow them to bits that would be a, a, a great movie <laughs> anyways I hope 20th Century Fox works on that film and there you have it Anyways, if you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation, and also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. By the way, make sure you stay tuned for the next uh, episode of the A3 review. Uh, I'm working and collaborating with ages3andup.com, and we're making a, a great web series for you guys, and we talk about Transformers and 1-6 scale stuff and all kinds of cool stuff and, and topics in the world of collecting. So there you have it. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Generations line and it has been released both in Japanese and in North American packaging. This is definitely one of those very unusual instances where in my opinion the